Hey guys, it's Kaz here and today I'm going to be doing the Christmas treats book tag. This was created very recently in fact by Becca over at the Becca Fowl. And yeah, basically it's all about sweet treats of the Christmas variety and then books. So yeah, let's just jump straight in. So question one is mince pies, a book with a great cover but an even better filling. I don't even know if I've ever at a mince pie. I'm not really a massive fan of cooked fruit but also I didn't used to be a fan of cooked apple but I've had apple crumble and apple pie recently and both of them were peng so maybe I will like mince pies I don't know but anyway the book I've chosen for that one is Julia and the Shark by Kira Millwood Hargrave and Tom DeFreston doing the artwork so the cover great and an even better inside obviously the actual story but also just like everything about inside so it has other pictures and stuff it has this whole grey and yellow theme so we've got a little yellow bike there and stuff another little bit there but also not very often but also throughout this there are little glassine sheets so it has like this see-through thing on it and then it becomes a picture on this side and on this side and it's just really nice and also the story is really good as well it's a middle grade about a girl whose family go and live on a scottish island and they're doing some work on the lighthouse and it's about mental health and stuff her mum's dealing with mental health and she finds a new friend it's just really good so yeah so question two is sugar cookies Something Sweet, a cute slash cosy book. And for this one, I'm going with Lightfall by uh, Tim Probert. So this is volume one. It's called The Girl and the Goldrian. And yeah, it's just really cosy and sweet. It's, again, it's a middle grade, accidentally, but it's a graphic novel and the artwork is just so fun. The characters are all great. The storyline, yeah, there are some stuff going on and there are some like serious things happening, but just in general, it's just really cosy and great. And that's fun things like this it's just really good so question three is christmas pudding another thing i don't like i i don't like loads of fruit that's cooked in a thing i feel like i still won't like christmas pudding because it's got alcohol on it most of the time brandy and i don't drink alcohol and this question is christmas pudding alcohol name an adult book so i've gone with preacher accidentally another graphic novel comic type thing but yeah, this is a very adult series. A lot of stuff happens that's just like very adult. All the kicking off. This one, a guy who is a preacher gets this thing inside of him and then he has the word of God. So whatever he says to people, they have to do. And then like a million other things are going on as well. And it's horror and dark and yeah, all the stuff. Stuff kicking off. Here's the artwork. Question four is gingerbread, a book with spice, and I do like gingerbread. And for this one, I've gone with Bird Meets Cage by Anita Sunday. I don't read that many books with spice. I know it's like a really big at the moment on booktube, and that's cool. Most of the stuff that I do read that's like that sort of adult is probably be on a Kindle, probably be like indie authors. This is an indie author book. And honestly, I can't really remember anything about this, but I do know that it has spice in it. It's really small. I actually won this from the author's um, email thing. I'm subscribed to Anita Sunday's emails and every so often she has giveaways and stuff and I won this and yeah. I think it's set in like a circus sort of thing if I remember correctly. Yes. And, and then Smutty. Number five is Yule Log. This is just like a Swiss roll with chocolate around it and then it's a log. But it's nice because it's cake and chocolate so that's what I think it is anyway I'm pretty sure that's like the actual thing anyway this one is traditional a book you like to reread and I do like rereading books I don't reread books that often I do want to reread a few things next year and one of those things the foxhole court or just all for the game series in general by Nora Sakovic this is one of my absolute favorite series of all time I have reread it it's still great I love it and yeah it's about this team of XC players, which is a fictional sport that's created in this book. And just lots of stuff kicking off and everybody's got issues and trauma and it's like found family, but all of them are just so 
shit <laughs> in the worst possible way they're, they're all if you want to say the word i hate the word but they're all problematic they're just like dealing with stuff all of them are and it's just like all these people coming together and like having to force being a family but they love each other really and it's just really good um this 10 questions so that means we are halfway through let's head on over to a message from one of the festive spawns and then i'll be back with the rest of the questions question is question six which is candy cane decorative and I agree because like you don't really eat candy canes they are food they're a sweet and it's like um minty but most of the time you just hang them on stuff and then just never eat them and then you just get thrown in the bin but yeah so decorative a book with a beautiful color and I have to go with Sags Run or just the Iron Breaker series in general by Zaya Feli. Um, imagine if you focused on this instead of all my Christmas stuff in the background. There we go. It's just absolutely stunning. And Zaya Feli does all of her art herself as well, and all of these books just look so good. So, yeah. And this is a trilogy, and it's really good, and it's a fantasy. And it's about this bastard prince who gets accused of killing the king and the other prince and then has to go on the run and then has to find out like what's going on and who actually did it and all that stuff and it's really good so question seven is panettone and i've never actually eaten this before you always see them in tk maxx if you're from england you can attest to that they're always in tk maxx in their food bit around the christmas time but this one it's like a bready cake thing i think i've never had it um but the question is fruity because it has fruit in it an lgbtq plus book so i've gone with a boy like me by simon james green there are so many books i could have chosen for this but this is one that i read this year and it was just really really good as simon james green books generally are but it's just and also i would love to sit down and talk to simon james green and figure out which parts of these are like real life anecdotes and which parts aren't because it's very personal it's very like here's stuff that I went through and also other stuff thrown in there that I didn't go through to make it a story but it's so good and the way it's written it's like he's the author and he's telling stuff it's just so good and it's set when section 28 was a thing in England where you weren't allowed to talk about the word gay even existing never mind being gay in schools or anything like that and you could get done and get fired and stuff if you did and it's just really good so question eight is trifle layers a book that falls under more than one genre trifle i am a fan of and for this one i've gone with the alex crow by andrew smith now andrew smith just in general writes like some weird crazy ass shit this one for example i don't even know how to explain it it's like it's one of the main characters is a boy who was the only survivor in a like mass killing in a middle eastern country and then he gets like adopted by some american people who are like we're better and we'll have your home and stuff and then he goes to this like boy scout sort of camp sort of thing ish but then also there's a different timeline like back in the day a weird thing is frozen in the ice and then there's a different timeline but also the same timeline where well, there's this guy who's had like science experiments happen to him like i specifically i looked on goodreads to see what people have class this genre under and i wrote them down so the alex crow on goodreads is <laughs> has been put under sci-fi fantasy contemporary mystery historical fiction and dystopian so i feel like that fits the brief of more than one genre it's weird it's great all that so andrew smith just writes some weird ass shit question nine is books fizz i think this is also alcohol so i don't drink that bubbly a light-hearted book so for this one I've gone with Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. This is another one that I read this year and it's just really wholesome and sweet and there's not like loads of stuff at stake. It's just cosy and I could have put it for the cosy one earlier but it's light-hearted in the way that like right at the beginning the guy dies but then like it's not even an issue. He's just chilling out being a ghost and it's just really good. 
I love the whimsy of it all. I love the way that TJ Klune writes really grumpy, unlikable main characters that grow and find out that like having friends is a good thing. <laughs> I don't know. It's just really fun and lighthearted and just great. And the last question is shortbread, which again, very much am a fan of shortbread. Thick, a chunky book. And for this one, the last book on here, I've gone with Nansen by Roland Hunsford. This is non-fiction about Friedrich Nansen. It's quite big. Although to be fair, like this much of it, like this much, of, ooh, it just went away. This much of it is just like the end notes and telling you sources and stuff and how they found, but it's still like 600 and 80 pages or something like that. Uh, non-fiction biography about Friedrich Nansen, who was the grandfather of polar travel. Pretty much all the people that did it afterwards all took inspiration from Friedrich Nansen. Around that time he was helping out loads of different people because like he had the knowledge and stuff. At the time that he had his expedition he went the farthest north on the North Pole, which is why his book's called Farthest North. Obviously that was succeeded to the actual North Pole a bit later, but yeah. It was just a really interesting guy and he also won a Nobel Peace Prize. He was also a scientist and like discovered some scientific stuff as well. So even though it was chunky, it was very interesting. And there we go. That was the Christmas treats book tag. I'm not going to tag anyone because I don't know whether people have like already planned videos for Christmas if people don't want to do it. But if you do want to do it, you can say I tagged you because I did. Or if you don't want to do the video, you can just say stuff down there and be like, oh, here's my answer for this one or oh that book sounds good in in the comments if you want to if you want to you can do the stuff you can like the comments the subscribing and all that jazz and i'll see you in a few days with another video bye